What's up? This is Chris from Metro Fame. So today's review is the Thunderbird i5s Plus, which is actually the the iPhone clone and copy of the iPhone 5s. Okay. So this smartphone is running Android 4.2 and has a quad core processor with one gigabyte of RAM, and you can actually customize uh, the internal memory. We will see that in details uh, later. So let's first uh, have a look at the box. So the box is actually the same uh, like the original uh, iPhone 5S, exactly the same shape and the same design, the same stuff on it. So we can just uh, open the box to see what's going on inside. So it's a bit tight. So here we go. So here we have uh, the smartphone itself. Then if we open it, so we have um, here, so the pin to take off um, the, the SIM card, so I will show you how it works. Then inside we also have a few information, okay, and we have here a very very quick uh, very quick guide on uh, how to use basically uh, your smartphone okay so this is not that important and uh, the most important is what is left in the box so here we have actually a USB charger okay so uh, this is a EU plug however we can propose you the UK and the US plug you just have to, to select it when you when you check out or let us know also when you check out so we also have uh, a cable USB cable micro USB so this is the uh, just to remind you this is the the special cable from Apple okay so you cannot use the micro USB like for the other Android phones you have to use this cable only strictly only and you also have the same earphones uh, than the, um, the iPhones uh, themselves, so with control talk and the same design, the same shape exactly, okay? So basically this is it for, uh, for inside of the box, so what's going on with the phone? So here we go with the iPhone 5S uh, pure copy, okay? So this is uh, the same exact dimensions. So just to to, re to remind the people, this is 123.8 uh, millimeters by 58.6 millimeters and a thickness of 8 millimeters. Okay. So the the whole weight of the of the Thunderbird i5s Plus is uh, around about you know 150 grams, 115 grams. Sorry. And uh, I think the original one it should be around maybe 108 grams, but I'm not sure. So, but the weight might be different. But the dimensions are exactly the same, so you can use the same back covers and um, this, the same exactly um, cover on the back, and everything will fit perfectly uh, on this copy. So. Uh, here we can see this is a golden version. Uh, we also propose on our website at electroframe.com the black uh, and the silver version. Okay, so so basically this is it. So we can just take off here uh, the screen just to show you already. If we have a look at it uh, here on the top. We can see that we have the proximity sensor, the camera, which is um, a five megapixels. Uh, sorry, a three megapixels uh, on the front here. And we have the speaker on the bottom. We have the touch ID, okay? So the the home button, special from iPhone. On the side, so we have here the um, basically to vibrate and to put in silence, okay? We also have the plus and the minus for the volume buttons, okay? On the other side, we have actually the, the SIM card slot. On the top, we have the power button. And on the bottom here, we have the two speakers with the 3.5 mm jack and the, um, the special uh, Apple plug here, okay? Um, so basically this is it for the shape of the phone. So here you can notice that they have some greens, but uh, don't be afraid of it. It's all plastic around, so you can easily take it off. Uh, this is a new model basically, okay? So just to, to let you know what you will get uh, with that. So you will have the original logo on it and uh, on the back here you can also see that we have um, the flash and autofocus the microphone and the camera which is the 8 megapixels camera okay so basically this is it for uh, 
for the the Thunderbird i5s plus for the shape and the design okay so now what I propose to you is actually to, to turn it on and to see what's going on we can turn it on so uh, basically before going any further what I want to say is uh, this uh, smartphone uh, this copy of the iPhone 5s uh, does have a 1050 mAh battery which actually surprisingly uh, will last for a full day like the other iPhones without any problem at all um, here we can see that I told you before this is uh, Android 4.2 uh, running on this smartphone uh, however um, they modified the whole Android which looks like the iOS 7 okay so we can easily see this exactly look like the same um, like the original iPhone. So we b before explaining to you uh, everything about uh, all the inside, uh, what I want to say is actually this uh, this smartphone. You can have it in in four different kind of uh, memory. So you have the eight gigabytes, the sixteen gigabytes, the thirty two gigabytes, and the sixty four gigabytes. Um, maybe you wonder how they do it. It's just because of inside uh, there is only a so you have the, the phone storage itself, but you also have a SD card inside, which is uh, pre-installed on it. So you can choose basically between an 8, 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes. Okay. So otherwise, uh, the, the the size is the same. So it's basically a four inches IPS screen, uh, QHD. So so let's have a look basically at the at the specifications. So and the, the settings and everything. So if we if we drop down the the top of the screen we see that here we have access to actually the, the calendar and the different uh, notifications okay also if we drag from the bottom to the top you have access to actually what we can call on Android as well the toggles so here you have the airplane mode, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the night mode you have the brightness uh, you can set up the sound as well um, the airdrop and the flashlight too um, the calculator as you can see so you can access to a lot of different things uh, without any problem at all and the camera right away quick on it okay so that was just to, to show you the, the quick access so if you double click on it you will see that you can actually have the recent applications so you have to double click on the on the home button here okay so you can see I can go back uh, otherwise now what kind of applications do we have inside so if we get closer we have of course the messages the calendar the photos camera weather clock maps videos we also have Facebook uh, Google Maps the App Store here is actually the the Play Store so we have access to all the your favorite applications without any trouble at all uh, the iTunes store here is actually the, the Spotify to have access to all the music around the world. Uh, we have the Compass, the settings, and other different applications we already uh, downloaded for you in for this review. So here we can see there the calculator and the contact as well. If we go back, the voice memo, the FaceTime, downloads, file manager, FM radio on it as well, and navigations for for Google. So all the other ones we, we downloaded it for for this review basically so let's have a look first at the settings then so here we can see that it looks like the same like actually the, the iPhone which is the particularity of this of this device so you have access to the airplane mode the Wi-Fi Bluetooth and the SIM card when you put and when you install insert the, the nano SIM cards uh, on the side here okay uh, otherwise then you have the notification center here we can see that you can have uh, SMS preview if you want then we have the control center so if you want swipe up from the bottom to the screen to the to view the control center so this is what I said before this is the control center okay so you can take it off um, then if we come back here we have do not disturb so you can actually set up this mode if you really want to be um, quiet okay so then uh, for the general this is actually pretty interesting so in about here you can see that we have actually all the songs the videos is the same like actually how it works uh, on an iPhone 
So here we can see that this time we have the 16 gigabytes uh, version of uh, of the Thunderbird i5s. So I, I repeat, you can have the 8, 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes. Okay. So then uh, here. The most important is actually the international, so here we have access to all the languages, so you can check your own. So we have quite a good selection on it. It's not as full and as complete as the other uh, Android smartphones that you can see on the market, but it's still pretty complete, uh, no problem on it. So we can go back, that was the most important. Uh, here you can see that you can set up actually your, your wallpaper and your brightness, so here you see that this review will be done to the maximum brightness, okay, this is very important. Um, then we can go back, and here we have the sound, so we can have a look. So vibrate and ring, vibrate and silent, you can just set up all whatever you want, you can set up your ringtone. Then for the touch ID and the passcodes, um, okay, here they talk about add a fingerprint. Um, however, we already tried it and uh, it is not true, so it just consider that like uh, like a gadget and not really like a true functions which will make the people go away. So uh, privacy here you have actually the the location services. So for the for Google, the iCloud is actually here your account okay that you add so your google account the mail contacts calendar so here we can see this is only the mails okay so you can choose whatever you want the notes messages safari you can personalize all the different settings for your browser and if we go down so the itunes and app stores here is just like to manage basically all your applications the install and install, reinstall, install, whatever you want, everything is possible. Uh, the music, the videos, if you want to check them, so if you want to show the lyrics, for example, enable orientation for the videos, you just close captioning or not, so we can enable everything. Twitter, Facebook, and Nike Plus iPod. So this is just for, for the big, quick settings, okay? So, so for, for the specifications, uh, this time we were not able to, to install Antutu, so uh, we're using like something different, which is kind of the same. Um, so we can check it out. This is hardware info. Um, so here we can see this is Android 4.22, so Jelly Bean, of course. Um, if we go down, so the, the display, I told you before, this is a 4 inches, like the original one. So IPS uh, QHD screen. The resolution is actually um, 960 by 540. So here they say 4.15 now, it's a 4 inch screen. Okay, so 240 DPI, this is actually uh, true. So we have actually a MT6582 quad core processor clock at 1.3 gigahertz. So the MediaTek MT6582. Um, for the memory, so the, the Sorry, so for the RAM, here they say two, two gigabytes, but it's actually only one gigabyte, okay? Uh, otherwise, we have two cameras, so on the back it's eight megapixels, and on the front it's not five megapixels, it's three megapixels, okay? Only three on the, on the front. And this is it basically for the, for the quick, quick specifications, uh, all what you need to know uh, on the smartphone. So, you have to know that this version doesn't have Gorilla Glass, uh, so it's only an IPS QHD screen of 4 inches with a resolution of 960 by 540. So this is it basically. Um, now what I propose to you is actually to uh, to play a video and in order to test the sounds and how it renders on the screen of course. That, we can just go to the file manager and and here just to show quickly so you yeah, see it has the SD card and the phone storage itself. So the SD card will go inside and we have access to download and you can check for example this GoPro video. So we can turn up the sound to the maximum and let's see how it goes basically. So the color are pretty bright actually, it's very nice.
So we see that we don't have any trouble to play and the quality is extremely fine. So for the sound, here we can check it out. So this is actually not as powerful as a lot of other smartphones uh, available on, on the market. But it still does a great job. And we can easily hear all what is going on without any problem at all. So we can come back now. That was just to, to show you what is what is going on, okay? So now what I want to, to show you is actually um, we can use the, the, the camera for, uh, for instance and to see what, what is going on. So for that we can for example just take a picture of the box here. So if we go for it, so we just open the camera. And we can just take a picture with and without the flash. And the HDR here is off, so we can actually put with HDR as well. Okay. So now we can have a look at all this picture. So that was the first one uh, with a flash. So you can see the flash is pretty powerful anyway. And the most interesting is to check this picture because this is done by HDR. So if we have a look at what is going on, we can see that for 8 megapixels and a resolution of screen of 960 by 540 it is not too bad at all so the screen cannot really render uh, very well the the pictures that were taken on the computer it will render much more better okay so this is what you get basically um, with this smartphone with this Thunderbird i5s plus so we can go back and um, now what we can try is actually to, to test the gaming performances uh, for this for this smartphone. So for that, we have been downloading actually Asphalt Edge, uh, which is a, a racing game available on the Play Store for free, and which usually requires quite a lot of graphics. And um, So here we go. Let's see what's going on when we play one of the latest games available on the Play Store on this copy of the iPhone 5S called the Thunderbird i5S Plus. So as we see, the sensor is responsive without any problem at all, and it's pretty smooth. Okay, so we can easily see that we will be able to play the latest game without problem at all. And we will handle it without any problem. Alright, so I was just to show you what is going on, okay? So one of the latest tests uh, I want to show you for uh, for this Thunderbird uh, i5s is actually just um, a couple of little ones. So basically here we have the, the root checker. So we can agree and check what's going on. So if we verify the root here we can see that sorry this device doesn't have proper root access. So basically if you want to change uh, this iOS 7 theme by something else 
you will first have to root this uh, this smartphone uh, in order to change the the Android version. Okay, so then what I want to show you is actually the multi-touch tester as well. So if we sorry if we put it on here and we put all finger. This is actually a five, five touch capacitive uh, screen. Okay. So for then the last test, which is the the GPS test, I won't be able to to show it in here because I'm inside of a house and uh, the, the the reception is pretty bad. So basically, we have been trying it outside and was actually uh, almost no problem. Just a little bit weak, but still working pretty well. So, so basically, that's it for uh, for the Thunderbird uh, i5s Plus, so the the copy clone of the iPhone 5s. So this is what you will get. So a pure and the same same design uh, and same shape, same dimensions um, than the or original i5s. Okay. So to make a quick summary about it, just to to know what you get. So basically. Uh, this is a Thunderbird i5s Plus, of course, so Android 4.2, MediaTek 6582 quad-core processor clocked at 1.3 GHz, 1 GB of RAM, possibility of customizing your internal memory, so you have a choice between 8 GB, 16 GB, 32 GB, and 64 GB. Um, this is a 4 inches screen, IPS QHD resolution of 960 by 540, Two cameras on the front is three megapixels, on the back it's eight megapixels. You can see before that this is uh, the iOS iOS theme on it, so a modified version of Android 4.22, which looks exactly the same than the iOS 7. Um, so this phone is available uh, on black, silver, and gold. It has a battery of. 1050mAh and does have the Play Store and Spotify for example. So this is what you will get uh, at www.electroframe.com So if you have any question uh, please feel free to leave a comment below this video and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise if you want to get more information or more specifications about it uh, you can click on the top left corner of this video and, and it will redirect you right away to our website at electroframe.com and uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed and see you later for the next review then. Bye bye!